Hey, Gennady Triple G Golovkin says he saw injection marks all over Canelo's body. And that's that was asked of him by, you know, one of these reporters who just couldn't stop talking about how Canelo uh could be on something, could not be on something, you know. Fucking report it. All they talk about is, is this bullshit. But when it comes down to who's going to win the fight, it's like, it's like they're clueless or they just assume Triple G is going to win. Well, he can't fight news. Let, let's, let's wake some fans out. And let's also see what Triple G revealed as Canelo's best attribute. He can't fight news. All right. Let's get into it, man. So Gennady Golovkin, um, he was asked several questions. And just talking about the whole situation with the quote-unquote two positive tests. Um, and Canelo said, well, first he said, this is the interesting part. And, and let's really break it down. First, Gennady Golovkin said, hey, I saw injection marks on his arm, his bicep, and and then um, the, the reporter asked, hey, Triple G, where did you see on the arm uh, where, where Canelo had the injection marks? It's like, where did you see it? And then all of a sudden, Triple G, he's talking to the translator, like, and the translator's like, well, I saw it, I saw it all over his body. <laughs> it was over, this is, uh, you know, in his abdomen, it, his arms, his legs, they're all over his body, the injection marks. And, and and then Abel Sanchez, of course, it's Abel that butts in and says, hey, hey, I mean, what what he means to say is this was relayed to him by, uh, you know, by a third party looking at the whatever photos that they have blown up of the guy. And, you know, I just find that whole incident really interesting and, I mean, it's, it seems like Triple G has been on this subject at so much. It's almost as if it's like his, his, his way of keeping himself relevant is to keep bashing Canelo. And it's just, it, it's quite, you know, it's, it's underwhelming. It's, it's not something we're used to seeing from a guy that, you know, fucking... Six months ago is just like the most respectful guy. Like it's just it's like this fucking guy is just oh yeah, you know, he doesn't talk no shit about anybody and then all of a sudden this guy flips the switch and it's just like a completely different guy. Completely different. His attitude, uh you know, the WBC president also also uh was shocked about this triple G. The way he was going in on Canel, he's just He's like, Triple, I can't believe Triple G. <laughs> I can't believe you, what he's done to the Canelo brand and shit. And, and, you know, Canelo only has one way out of it. The only way Canelo can come out of this with any kind of, with any kind of um, rejuvenation of his career, he's got to beat Triple G, man. He's got to go in here and whoop Triple G's ass in a way that Danny Jacobs couldn't do it, in a way that... You know, he he really, you know, what he did in the first fight, I think, I think what he did in that first fight, I, I wouldn't see it as a blueprint to beat Triple G. I wouldn't see it as that. I would see it as um, how to nullify Triple G's best work. Because Triple G... He, he was chasing Canelo, but Canelo was using fundamentals. And he was really defensively on point. He was on point. And he's been like this for, I mean, he's been like this for a while. You look at Canelo, one of his best victories, where, where he showed that he had, he'd been working on his defense was the Austin Trout fight. This dude fucking bobbing and weaving and shit. Looking like a like Canelo Pollo out there fucking moving his head and shit. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and Canelo, you know, he showed some 
he showed improved defense in that fight, and, and, and it, it came up once again in this fight. So, if Canelo can just, if he can keep Triple G, you know, off of him, and keep him missing, what he needs to work on is making him pay with the counters more often. Kind of like what Juan Manuel did to Manny Pacquiao. He made him pay so much that in that third fight, it was so inconceivable that Manny Pacquiao could have won that third fight with Marquez. And I, ta I talked about this a lot years ago. But that third fight with Marquez was a masterful performance in counterpunching. And, and, and part of that could be what Canelo needs to understand about how to beat Triple G. Lead with the counter and then just do enough to really keep Triple G honest. Because once you have him like that, start to push Triple G back. That's what Canelo needs to do. You push Triple G back. You have him fight backwards. He will... He. I'm telling you, this guy will... I, and Triple G can box off the back foot, but that's not the same as fighting backwards. It's not the same. And that's what Canelo needs to do. If he can move him back a little bit, Triple G will not be ready for it. I'm, I'm going to tell you that right now. He will. I don't think he'll be ready for it. I could be wrong, but Triple G's been very inactive. And I think he's so used to fighting on the front foot. And that's the other thing I, I didn't like about Canelo in, the, in that first fight. Is that he let Triple G fight on his front foot for the... I'd say for the majority of the fight. If, if Canelo wasn't in the center of the ring, he was allowing Triple G to fight off the front foot. And if he can take that away... From Triple G, I think. I think that's how Canelo knocks him out. Uh, yo, you can't fight news, man. We're dropping that knowledge. So, um, support the channel. You know, subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video. Because, um, YouTube, man, this is fucking YouTube bullshit, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable what gets blocked and what doesn't. Sky Sports has been blocking me on some, like a Lewis Ritson video I did. Fucking Lewis fucking Ritson. They want to play. Oh my goodness. And, 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 and they do it now. Like what? what the f like eight months later when no one's talking about Lewis Ritson, I, I get a block on a Sky Sports. I wonder why. Like, I really wonder why. And like, okay. Okay. Eight months later. Unbelievable Sky Sports. But it was it was based on audio. So I, maybe maybe I just can't... Maybe it's, it's having the fight on the background too loud. I think it might be that. Oh, man. I gotta, I gotta fucking make sure I don't get another fucking strike, man. For real. Anyways... I'm just rambling now. E King Fight News. Y'all know what it is, man. Triple G. Talking about Canelo got injections all over his body, man. For real. All over. Man, I don't know, man. This guy, I, I want to see this guy get it so bad. Because he's got it coming to him, man. He's got it, he's got a loss coming to him. And I think this is gonna be it, man. Triple G's been undefeated for way too fucking long. He's been undefeated. This guy has been undefeated for way too fucking long. I'm telling you guys. Canelo's going to take his O. I'm telling you guys right now. E-King Fight News. That's what it is, man. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. I wonder what the odds are on Canelo. I wonder what the odds are. I'm going to check them right now. Hey, yo. Y'all know what it is. So uh, let's check out. These odds and shout out to Bet365. Alright, so um 
Upcoming fight, Gennady Golovkin sell Canelo Alvarez. Gennady Golovkin is a minus 175. Canelo Alvarez is a plus 137. I think Saul might be plus 150 in some other books, but over here he's plus 137. Now, what is Canelo Alvarez by knockout is plus 800. Plus 800. And a plus 187 on Canelo Alvarez by decision. Gennady Golovkin by knockout is plus 225. Gennady Golovkin by decision is also plus 187. Hey, yo. Let me know what you guys think on the gambling side. Uh, I think that I just like that plus 137 for, for Selwell Kennel Alvarez to win the fight. Let me know what you guys think. E-King fight.